editing documentary on my phone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this professional documentary style vintage timeline using just your phone and free cap cut. This video is specifically designed to polish your documentary editing skills. But in case if you want a tutorial for this Vox style animation, like the video and comment, I want Vox style documentary tutorial. So let's start editing. I am starting with this image, just adding it to my timeline, and then I will set the duration at five seconds. And to add that ink splash effect you just seen in the preview, I will tap on overlay and add this ink splash effect that I have specially designed for this tutorial. By the way, I have attached all project files in the description, but it is password protected which will be revealed halfway through the video. Download the project files so you can follow along. Just pinch and zoom to increase the size and place it where you want it. Okay, now I will tap on splice and choose darken. Then I will also decrease the opacity to 80% for a cinematic effect. I will just move the overlay a little bit. Just deleting the excess part of the overlay to do so. Tap on the clip, hit split and simply delete the later part. Here I will add two keyframes, one at the end, and another in the very beginning of this clip. Then adjust the scale on both the keyframes. I will zoom in the image at different points on both the keyframes. This step will bring this cinematic and smooth motion in image. Then we'll do the same for the ink splash layer, just adding two keyframes both at the beginning and the end of the overlay clip, and zoom in at the last keyframe. I will delete this cap cut end clip and duplicate this image and the overlay twice. Then tap in the middle of these two clips and you can choose from a huge range of animations. I will search for slide up and choose it, then tap on apply to all clips. Now select the clip and tap on replace and I will replace it with this picture of Osama bin Laden. Keeping the cursor over the second keyframe, I will adjust the image position. Then move to the first one and we'll do the same. Same for the second copy of the image. Just replace it with any other image and adjust the position at both the first and second keyframes. Then I will tap on the effects, then video effects, and search for old TV2, and add it to my timeline. Here I am increasing the duration of the effect I just applied. Then tap on object and choose all videos. So this effect is applied to all the clips. It will create this 90s TV style flicker to these clips. If you're really enjoying this video, you should also watch the map animation and documentary editing videos that I created on my phone using CapCut. Then hit text and I will type in some dashes. I have typed in 20 dashes. You can add as many as you want. Then go to styles and tap on glow. I will set an intensity of 10% and the range at 100%. Then go to spacing and set the character spacing at minus three. Next, go to basics and rotate this line by 90 degrees and then place it on the left side of this image. Then go to animations, choose blur and set the duration at 1.7 seconds so it appears smoothly. Now I am extending this line till the end of the video so it is there for all the clips. Then tap on add text and this time I will just add a space then go to styles and tap on background. 
I will choose this background, then scroll down and adjust these settings. The corner radius at 100% and width at 30%. Then tap on this to choose a color. I like this vibrant yellow color. Here I am adjusting the size for the circle. Then go to Animations and select Dissolve. Then I shall duplicate this vertical line. Then go to Basics and rotate it by 90 degrees and set the angle at 0 degrees. And move it to the right such that the end point of this line intersects the vertical line. It seemed to be a bit longer so I deleted a dash Then go to Animations and search for Wipe, right? Select this animation and set the duration at 0.8 seconds. Then go to Styles. And with this ink dropper, I will select this bright yellow color for this line as well. Then I will duplicate this line, then go to Animations and select None. Double tap on this text layer and remove all the dashes, then just add one dash. Go to Basics and rotate it by 90 degrees and place it at the end of this line. Adjust it on the timeline such that they get drawn all together. Now I will add another text layer and type in the event year. Then go to Styles and change the color to white. Next go to Fonts and search Old Standard TT. Then rotate this text using my two fingers. Here I will add Type 2 animation to this text. I am adjusting the position this is how our animation looks like so far. To add the summary of the event I already had screenshots, I will just copy the text and paste it into CapCut. Then go to Animations and select Dissolve. Next, go to Styles and tap on Spacing, and choose this left-to-right paragraph style. And set the glow intensity at 20%, while the range should be at 100%. Here I am extending the duration for all the text layers to 5 seconds. For better results, I will zoom into the timeline. The password is SID files. Then add keyframes on all the text layers just before it ends. Then move forward and add keyframes for all the text layers in the end as well. Keeping my cursor over the last keyframe, I will move all these text layers upward one by one. It will appear like everything is moving upwards. Now I'm adding this out blur animation to all the text layers. This step is optional, yet I always add it to give it a smoother finish. Now I will duplicate this yellow circle dot and place it here on the timeline. Then tap on animations and select none to remove the animation. Then zoom into the timeline and add two keyframes. One where the clip starts moving and another where the clip settle down.
and move the circle dot down at the first keyframe. It will create this cool timeline effect. Now I will select this line text layer and duplicate it, then drag it and place it under the second clip. I will repeat the same step for all other text layers, duplicate them and drag them under the second clip. Then move these text layers such that their endpoints meet the end of second clip. This is how our animation looks like so far. Now I need to edit the text's information. I will double tap and change the year first. Next I will change the text summary as well. Just copy the text and paste it in CapCut. Keeping my cursor over the keyframe, I will set the position. Then to make a second transition for the next clip, we need to increase the duration for the circle dot. Then add two keyframes at the end of the text layer at the same points as other layers have. Here I had forgotten to delete the previous keyframes which were already there. Now I am just trying to adjust the position of this circle dot. Let's review this. Okay, the outgoing animation just looks perfect. Now I will repeat the same steps for the third clip. Just duplicate and place the text layers one by one. Just zooming into the timeline so I can adjust them closely. I will duplicate all the text layers and place them under the third clip. You should watch closely. and then edit the text information. I am again repeating the same process for the text summary. I will copy the summary texts from the screenshot and paste it inside the cap cut. I will adjust the position of the text keeping the cursor over the keyframe Here's one last thing you should do to make your video look outstanding. Just go to the beginning of the video tap on overlay and add a black image. Zoom it in so it covers everything. Next I need to extend its duration till the end. Then tap on splice and reduce the opacity to 40%. Last but not the least, to add an arrow tap on text, then stickers and search for arrows. Select this arrow sticker and add it to your timeline. I am positioning it to point onto Osama bin Laden. Then add a keyframe in the beginning of the sticker and move your cursor further ahead and around 5 seconds mark.
Move the sticker just as the image is moving. It will create another keyframe. I am reducing the duration to 5 seconds. Then tap on animation and select this fade in and set the duration to 1.5 seconds. This is how your result should look like. If this video was helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more mobile editing tutorials. You should now watch one of these videos you will never regret.